If you play Wright Patterson Mahjong and you want to be quicker with decision making, you can try an exercise that I call Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some sprints. So I have a stopwatch out. We'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to do an average of two minutes making decisions in two minutes. For a beginner, I think if you make decisions in four minutes, that would be good. And if you're intermediate, three minutes. And then if you want to improve, push yourself to make decisions in the other thresholds. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a 10. 10 is south. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm thinking BAMs and honors. News lineup, maybe. So let's pass. Oh, I don't want to be left with. Oh, I think either way you cut it, it's going to be risky. Let's pass those three. You want your passes to be defensive. Okay, we need, we're looking for BAMs or honors. So we have tiles we can pass here. We'll pass these three. There's some BAMs. Okay, so we have two tiles to pass. We could maybe play Betty, so let's go ahead and give up the nine, because you can't use ones and nines with Betty. I'll read that to you in a minute. There's some BAMs. Lap it. Okay, so I think we're in between Betty, Razzle, or Pung Chow. Either way, this is a really strong start. We have one discard. That was a really good Charleston. So let's look at Betty. Betty is number eight on page 17. Three pairs in one suit, no terminals with seven odd honors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let's say ten tiles towards Betty. So if we played news, news, or let's see, it would be news with five pair, Razzle, number six on the same page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're in between, exactly. Ten for Dazzle, ten for Betty. And then if we played Peng Chow, number 15 on the next page, page 18, we have two, four, six, eight. So I think probably Betty is going to be the strongest followed by Razzle, and then finally, if we drew in BAMs and the, and the honors didn't come in, we could always switch to Peng Chow. I think that was really, really good Charleston. Let's see what the next one's like. Eight, four is prevailing, north. Okay, here we go. I think that we should do one suit with honors again. One suit with honors. Let's pass these three. Crack. We have tiles to pass. This is a little bit risky. We got a pair in there. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope nobody would ever pass that. Look at that. Now we have to make a choice. I think we should go with one suit. All bam, I mean all cracks. We might even be able to play something with the dragons. Oh, I don't want to pass all that though. Oh, this is really risky. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, lap. Oh man, even this pass, that's terrible. That's a terrible pass. But look at this. 
we have really five discards or we could play oh we've got a pair of nines there i was thinking we could play maybe um dragon gates dragon gates is on page 21 number 33 one 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 or nine 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 with a sequence of one through eight we have no little numbers here i think we're closer to one suit Peng chow so yeah that's unfortunate or you know what maybe big one five seven nine number 50 on page 23 one pung each of ones five sevens and nines with your own or no 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 with either a pair of ones or nines okay so that's a possibility probably more of a long shot but that's a double limit hand so we would have five discards okay we're going to do one more sprint I rolled an 11, so 8 is north, 9, 10, 11 is west. Okay, here we go, last one. Okay, so we have winds, cracks, bams, dots. Clearly, again, one suit with honors. That's the strength. I go with the strength of the hand. Okay, here we go. We're looking for cracks. There's an honor. We'll take an honor. Okay, we've got tiles we can pass here. Let's pass those three. Cracks. So now we have two tiles to pass. This is when we have to make a choice. I think we should try for something with dragons and cracks. So we can pass those three. There's a crack. And we have three discards. Okay, so this was not bad. So if I had to pick a hand, we have two pair, I would play Dazzle. Dazzle is five pairs in one suit with red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. That's a single limit hand concealed on page 17. That's number seven. So we would just need to pair up and get a green dragon. Those were all really, really good Charlestons, I think. Let's see how things went with the timing. Sprint one was one minute, eight seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 15. Sprint three, one minute, six. So I made it. Now I played all the categories that I'm really familiar with. I didn't really think about date hands and not too much with jewel hands. The thing is when you play with one suit, I like to gather, gather, gather. You don't have to make a choice. So we could still play a, date, a gate hand, for example, or a jewel hand. If we just gather that one suit, we could still venture into those different categories. It's during the Charleston that you set up your hand and you're just gathering. So really, we didn't have to make too much of, of a choice for a specific category. So there's still, still some flexibility to go into those other categories. But I would like to have those date hands more up in my mind. Maybe I should even force some date hands when I do solitaire exercises so that I can practice looking for those specific numbers. And of course, you got to have dragons with date hands. So keep all those things in mind. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.